Hello, you wonderful people. If you follow my Instagram account, you might have seen this one already. Because I was trying out a new technique and I liked it so much that I painted many, many of those bees. And there are still some of those paintings um, in progress still. I still wanted to show you this one today. And then you want to see how the process is and how the technique works. Basically, I just use this technique to clean up, clean up my palette after every single painting. I mix a very toned down brownish color that variates from painting to painting. Sometimes it's redder, sometimes it's greener, but it's roughly all in the same color scheme. After I sketch what I want to paint in a blue or red, I've tried red too, um, pencil, I cover the whole background in this muddy brownish, greenish or slightly reddish color. In this case the color was a little bit too light, so I added some green umber to make it a little bit duller. After I did that, I started coloring the leaves or the petals of the flower in a nice light pink color. And I'm not a huge fan of pink, but I thought this would like very nice and softly and soft added to this one. When the paper underneath has no white, the pet it, everything is a little bit dulled down, but it pops so nicely when you add white highlights in the end. These paintings I painted on Arches watercolor paper with my Schminke palette, but I also used some DS paints like the undersea green for the stem or leaves a lot. It's already a dulled down green and it's very nice. For the bees I used Conecridone Gold mostly. And some sepia for these darkish brown colors on the bees and other details that I have. I have to admit that this, this technique is so much fun that I just couldn't stop myself painting more and more and more. First I started out in my sketchbook actually, before I went to the arches sheets or pads or pages. I have to admit that arches is a very thirsty paper. Especially in this heat, it dries up so fast that just, I just can't add so much water to let the paint flow as I would like it to. But it's okay, it doesn't need to flow that much for this technique. After I add the first layers of color, I add some details to the petals and this thing is in the middle of the flower. Enhance the shadows and see if I like the flower as it is. I thought about making this one into a print and hope you agree with me because I like it so much. I hope you enjoy this painting as well and have fun watching the video. Thanks for being here. Bye.